At the beginning of the 2000s, the first fighter jet to have a single WS-10 was a testbed J-11 fighter. In the end, the WS-10 became China's first commercially successful turbofan engine. This freed China from its reliance on Russia and let it join a small group of countries that have mastered the technology. The Shenyang J-15, also called the Flying Shark, is a Chinese all-weather, twin-jet, fourth-generation multi-role carrier-borne fighter aircraft made for the People's Liberation Army Navy. The fact that domestic engines are built into the J-15 shows that the PLA thinks these engines are reliable and good enough for carrier operations. Even though the Taihang engines have been put into other flanker planes, the Russian AL-31F engines were only put into the J-15s that were based on carriers. This is because carrier operations are very demanding. It's important to remember that the WS-10 was first made for operation on land. China will no longer have to buy AL-31F engines from Russia because of the decision to change the engines in the J-15. Even though work is underway on a more high-tech possible successor to the Flying Shark, like the stealthy J-35, new engines for the J-15 are probably also a sign that the future of the carrier fighter is safe for now.